In a pivot table, instead of just showing numbers that might be hard to read, use conditional formatting to show data bars and give some visual impact. This is Deborah Delglage from Contextures.com. In this workbook, there's a table with sales data. I'm going to create a pivot table to show the total sales for each year month. To do that, I'll select any cell in this table, go to the Insert tab, click Pivot Table, it automatically selected the table in which I've got a cell selected. I want to put the pivot table on an existing sheet. So I'll click in this box, click that worksheet and click cell A2. I'm not going to put the data in the data model. I'll click OK and there's the blank pivot table. Put in year month. When I click that, it automatically goes into the rows area. I'd also like sales and it automatically goes into values because it's a numeric field. The pivot table has 13 months of data and the sales for each month, and I'm going to filter the year month field so only the first six months are showing. I'm also going to format this number field. Right click, click Value Field Settings, click Number Format, Choose the number category, zero decimals, and show the thousand separator. Click OK, click OK, and here's a very simple pivot table showing sum of sales for the first six months. The pivot table is doing what we need. It's showing us six months of data and the total sales for each month. It's a bit hard to see which months are doing best though. To make it easier to spot the best months, I'm going to add data bars for the sales. I'll leave this column as is. In the field list, drag sales down into values again, and I'll put it above the existing field. Put this away. Now here are the same numbers, they're just not formatted, and we're going to change these to data bars. To do that, select all the cells. On the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, Data Bars, and then choose one of these styles. And I'll go with this orange solid fill. It's left the numbers in the cells, but now we get a better at a glance view of our data. I find it hard to read these numbers, so we're going to leave these numbers here and get rid of these. So I'll select these cells again, and go back to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. And here's our data bar rule. So click on that and click Edit Rule, showing where that rule is applied. In here you can change the colors, add a border, but what we want to do here is add a check mark to Show Bar Only. And now click OK and click OK. And now we just have the data bars, so everything looks good. Now that we have the data bars set up, I'm going to change this filter and show one more month. Label filters less than and change this to 8. So it'll include July now. So there's the number for July, but it's not showing a data bar. So we have a problem with our conditional formatting. I'm going to select these cells again on the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and when I look at the Data Bar Rule, it's showing a specific set of cells which does not include the new cell that we're showing. I'll go back into Edit Rule. In here at the top, we can see the range where this rule is applied, and it's the selected cells. There are other options here. All cells showing Sum of Sales 2, so that's this field. If we select that, it would include the seventh month, it would also include the total, and we don't want that. The other option, all cells showing sum of sales to values for year month. That one will not include the total or any subtotals, but if we hide or show or add new data, it's going to automatically include them. So select that third option, click OK, OK, and now it's including July. And to test that, I'll remove the filter and all the months have data bars. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.